Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. Remove your radiator cap by pushing down and turning it counterclockwise. At the bottom of the driver's side of the radiator, you'll see a little thumb screw for your radiator drain. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath there. Then reach down and loosen it by hand. Allow your cooling system to drain and then close the drain on the radiator. The thermostat housing cover is located at the top center of your engine, just behind the idler pulley. We'll start by removing the 14 millimeter nut that secures the ground straps onto the thermostat housing. We'll now use the 13 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the two 13 millimeter studs securing the housing. Now remove the housing. Place that out of the way. And remove the thermostat. If it's really stuck in there, you can use a small flat blade screwdriver to lift it out. Ours just popped right out for us. Install your new thermostat. Make sure the seal is on there will only fit in one way. You want the shorter side facing up. Lay the housing back on and reinstall the two 13 millimeter studs. Then tighten them down with your 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall your two grounds and the 14 millimeter nut and tighten that down with your socket and ratchet. Fill your vehicle with a 50-50 mix of Dex Cool coolant. We're using a special funnel to show you how much air actually comes out of the system when you do this, but any old funnel will do at home. To finish bleeding your cooling system, simply leave the radiator cap off, start your vehicle, Set your defrosters or vents to the lowest fan speed and highest temperature setting. This will allow the heater core to bleed as well. Just run the vehicle, keep an eye on the temperature gauge, let it get up to temp, and monitor the coolant level inside of your radiator and top off as necessary. You'll notice that there will be several surges where it sort of burps and an air bubble comes out, it loses some fluid, you top it off and this process will probably repeat a few times. Remove your funnel, and reinstall your radiator cap, fill the overflow, and your vehicle is good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.